Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today this is the play-ins results for the West and the East. So let's first have a look at the teams for the West and the East before we get into the results. So the West teams include the Boston Knife Rising, Vancouver Titans, Toronto Defiant, the San Francisco Shock, the London Spitfire, the New York Celsius, and the Washington Justice. And then uh, for the East, we have the Dallas Fuel, Seoul Dynasty, Guangzhou Charge, and the Shanghai Dragons. Uh, I don't think there was any any roster changes out of any of these um, uh, teams, so I think we're all good there. First off, with the West, and then we'll go over to the East. So, the West, the Washington Justice beats out the NYXL 3-1. No surprises there, I'll be honest. The NYXL, they were kind of, they, they're kind of just a meh team. Just, they're just very, very average. Uh, so, just a 3-1. The only map that, that NYXL won was in Midtown, and Alpha Yi gained MVP for that. Up rank of quarterfinals now, the London Spitfire, they beat out the San Francisco Shock 3-1 against the Shock. Busan was the only map that the Shock won, and Hardy gained MVP. Toronto Fire 3-0, um, the Washington Justice, and it was Sir Majid getting MVP for that, knocking the Justice and the Shock down to the low rank of quarterfinals. Up rank of semifinals now, the Boston Abrays in beats out the London Spitfire 3-1. Ilios was the only map that that the Spitfire won, and Birdrain gained MVP for that against his uh, against his old team. The Canadian uh, match, Vancouver Titans versus the Toronto Defiant, was actually a reverse sweep for the Toronto Defiant uh, to beat out the Titans to advance to the up bracket final against the Boston Uprising. Ilios and Nabani were the only two maps that the, that the Titans won, and Hydron gained MVP for that. The low break quarterfinals now as the Shock were knocked out by the Vancouver Titans 3-0 and Sugar Free again MVP for that. Pretty sure I saw like Jun begin like or was like was, I, no proper. Proper was on support for some reason and Max. Uh riddle me that one. The Washington Justice, they uh, they lost to to the London Spitfire 3-2. Uh only two maps that the Justice won was in Savasa and Esperancia and Spark again MVP. Our bracket final now. The Boston Uprise team. They were the first team to uh, to be uh, to advance to the playoffs in Toronto as they beat uh, basically basically the organizers of the playoffs. The Toronto Defiant, Nabani and Savasa were the only two maps that that Toronto won and Decay again MVP. Low bracket semifinals now as as the London Spitfire continues their very impressive run to beat at the Vancouver Titans three two. Only Midtown and New Junk City with only two maps that Vancouver won. And Sparker once again get MVP. And the Spitfire, they complete their amazing run to the low bracket as they beat out the Toronto Defiant 3 1. The Midtown was the, only two, was the only map that Toronto won. And Landon get MVP. So, congratulations to the Boston Uprising and the London Spitfire to, uh, to advance to uh, the playoffs east now. First off, now with the Dallas Fuel, is they 3 0 against Shanghai Dragons, no surprise was there, and Hanbin again MVP. Another 3 0 as well goes to the Seoul Dynasty against the Guangzhou Charge, and Krillin again MVP for that. Lower back semifinals now, as the Shanghai Dragons were knocked out by the, by the Guangzhou Charge, which is a bit of a surprise to me, I'll be honest, uh, considering that how badly the Charge were at, but to, but to be fair, the Dragons were also pretty shit. Uh, I can vote a new Queen Street with the only two maps that the Dragons that, that the Dragons won, and Jinmu get MVP for that. An old rivalry as well, the Dallas Fuel versus versus the Seoul Dynasty. It was a 3-0 victory for the Fuel, and Edison get MVP to lock themselves into the grand final. And the Seoul Dynasty, they they also want to I mean they wanted to get revenge against the Fuel as they three, as they beat out uh, the the Guangzhou Charge 3-0, and it was Bellas Ria again MVP for that. And for the qualifying match, the grand final for the E's in the play-ins, and it was the Dallas Fuel beating out the Souls Dynasty. Only New Junk City was the only map that, that, that the Dynasty won, and Hanbin get MVP for that. So here are the teams for the playoffs. We have the Atlanta Ryan, Florida Mayhem, and the Houston Outlaws. Both of them came from the West Stage qualifiers, coming in the top three. And the Boston Uprising and the London Spitfire uh, from the play-ins. Then, we, then for the East, we have the Hungry Spark and the Soul Inferno coming from the East Knockouts finish and, and the Dallas Fuel from the East Play-Ins. Only two teams are looking to make it uh, uh, to win two times, that being the, the London Spitfire and the Dallas Fuel, our reigning champions. The Spitfire, they won it in Season 1 in 2018. So here is the bracket. Uh, so Group 1 will we'll include the, the Atlanta Rain, Boston Uprising, Hungry Spark, and the London Spitfire. 
while Group 2 will include the Dallas Fuel, Florida Mayhem, Houston Outlaws, and the Soul Inferno. I'm not really too sure if I'm going to be doing the pick for this, I'll be honest, but all I know is that this will be the, f well, actually, the results, the, the, yes, the results video will be the final video I will ever make about the Overwatch League until we, to until we talk about the Overwatch World Cup, and after the Overwatch World Cup, no more Overwatch content for the rest of the future of this channel. So, yeah, that's really about it for me, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time in the next one. Goodbye.